Hey guys, Isabel here, and today we're going to do a quick video all about sleep. So, okay, there we go. Everything is working. So last week I did a Facebook Live, um, and I mentioned that sleep is absolutely one of the best ways to keep your immune system strong. It is. It also will affect your weight loss and will affect your health in so many ways. So many times when people say to me, you know, Isabel, I'm doing everything that I know to do in order to lose weight, but I hit a plateau or I'm not losing weight, I will quickly ask them about their sleep patterns. Because what you may not realize is how much your sleep affects your weight loss, your health, your immune system. So I'm going to give you some quick tips for pretty simple things that you can do that can have a really, really dramatic impact on your sleep. So if you can see me and you can hear me, thank you, Diana. Yes, it's working. Okay, good. You guys always know that that's my first question um, because you, technology is what it is. And sometimes I just start talking and rambling and the video is not working. Uh, okay, so if it's okay with you guys, I'm going to dive right into it. Again, um, four pretty simple things that you can do, but will have an, a really, really great impact on your sleep. Okay, so the first one is I want you to get on a, or I encourage you to get on a regular schedule. So God made our bodies so brilliant right? And in their infinite wisdom, they really get used to us keeping a certain schedule. We also have been designed with some natural circadian rhythms. And that circadian rhythms is how our body responds to the time of the day. Now, I know that everyone's situation is different. So I may say, okay, go to bed by 10 p.m., but maybe you can't for whatever reason. But what's important is that you get onto a good schedule that works for you. Now, I will tell you that so much research has been done on this, and the ideal time to go to bed is between 8 p.m. and 10 p.m. Now, I know for a lot of people that's not possible, so what I would say is to definitely try and get to bed before midnight any later than midnight and really it's going to be difficult for your body to recover now i'm not talking about night workers i'm not talking about night shift um that's probably a whole different topic in itself but if you have control over your time the time that you go to bed try and keep it consistent and for those people who do have a consistent sleep schedule you know that once it hits a certain hour it's like your body is asking to go to bed it's like it's 9 p.m. Like I thought we were going to bed soon. So try and keep that regular schedule. If you're someone who has always struggled with your sleep and you're not on a regular schedule, that really is such a great place to start. And of course, the other three tips that I'm going to share with you. And like I said, I've got four things to share with you. The last one is my absolute favorite. So of course, that's why it's the last one. And I'm keeping it for keeping the best for last. OK, so if you're not already on a regular schedule, definitely do that. Based on research, ideal time to sleep for the best recovery of your body is 10 p.m. to 6 a.m., eight hours of sleep. Again, I know not everyone can get eight hours of sleep. I get about seven to seven and a half, and that seems to be really good for me. So if you know that you have to wake up by 6 a.m. or 7 a.m., whatever time it is, go back eight hours and make sure that you're getting yourself to sleep but you know, eight hours beforehand, okay? Now, that leads me into the next one, which is to stop screens and anything that emits blue light one hour before bed. Two hours would be ideal, but let's go with one hour. Now, the blue light that comes from your computer, the blue light that comes from your TV, the blue light that comes off of your phone, that affects your body's release of melatonin. And you know that melatonin is what helps you to fall asleep and helps your body to kind of calm down and go to sleep. That's why a lot of people take melatonin supplements. So you want to get off the phone, um, step away from the computer, and not have the television on one hour before bed. I know for a lot of people that's difficult. They literally lay in bed and they like scroll on their phone. That, that's probably the worst thing that you could do is to scroll on your phone or look at the computer right before bed. 
you know, not even because of all the, you know, the media that's going on, that's going into your brain, but because of the blue light that's affecting your melatonin release. And we're going to talk about, you know, the kind of bringing in the information in your brain when I talk about the last one. But really, a lot of people are making that mistake where they just are on their phone until they fall asleep or they have the television on until they fall asleep. And that's probably like the worst thing that you can do. OK, so number one, getting on a regular schedule. Number two, stopping all screens an hour beforehand and read a book, have a conversation with your family. Um just maybe do your Bible reading then, you know, have your prayer time then. I like to have prayer time in the morning and in the evening, but really no more phone or anything. Even if text messages come in, I actually put my phone in airplane mode at around 7.45 p.m. And my friends and family just know that. Okay. All right. Number three. And we, this is something that I probably um, talk about. Uh, I talk about in um, Handling Obstacles His Way. If any of you have that coaching series that I created, it's 10 videos. And in that sleep video, I talk about magnesium. So magnesium is um, something that a lot of people are deficient in, and it really helps with um, muscle cramping. So if you have muscle cramping, you probably need some magnesium. It helps to relax the body, again, like relax the muscles if they're cramping. Um, it will actually help you sleep, this type of magnesium that I'm going to show you, and it will actually help to move your bowels. So if you're feeling constipated in any way, then you may need this type of magnesium. And the one that I'm talking about is this supplement, and it's called Natural Calm. Can you guys see this? And this, it says the anti-stress drink. I love that. But it really does help to restore healthy magnesium levels. So this is the larger one. I got it on Vitacost. You can also find it at the vitamin shop and you can find it at Whole Foods. But the dose is two teaspoons in uh, warm water. So let me just read the directions to you. Place powder in a glass or mug, add two to three ounces of hot water, let it fizz and stir until dissolved. Fill with warm or cold water and enjoy. So here's what I do um, around like 8 p.m. I go to bed at nine. So around 8 p.m., sometimes before 9, I will put two teaspoons of this in a mug and I will make like a little tea out of it. So about four ounces of water. I don't do any more than that because you don't want to have to be going to the bathroom all night long. And if you make, you know, if you put eight ounces of water, then you're going to have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night and then that's going to disrupt your sleep. So you don't want that. Now, you do want to build up to the two teaspoons because what could happen is because it does help to move your bowels, you could end up with loose stool if you go right to the two teaspoons. So I tell people start with half a teaspoon, see how you tolerate that, then go to one teaspoon, one and a half, and then two teaspoons, okay? If you're constipated in any way, this stuff right here it will just work. It's magic. It's basically just a powder. Can you see that? basically just a powder turns into like a fizzy drink this is the um original has absolutely no flavor it tastes like nothing they have lime flavor they have berry they have a couple of different ones but this has helped so many people to really get a good night's sleep and at the same same time have regular bowel movements so if you have any of that, you know, muscle cramping, again, like constipation, I highly recommend that you try this supplement. If you're on any other medications, please discuss this with your doctor first. I'm just doing a Facebook Live. There could be, you know, so many people watching this. I don't know what you're taking. Um, so I would definitely ask your doctor. Now, it is um, gluten-free, non-GMO, all of those good things that we look for, okay? All right, so number one was to get on a regular schedule. Number two was to stop screens and anything that emits blue light one hour before bed. And number three was to incorporate a good magnesium supplement in the evening. If you take it during the day, you're gonna be sleepy. Um, so I wouldn't take it during the day, okay? Okay, the last one, which I just absolutely love when I started doing this, it was such a game changer for me and it might take a little bit of practice, um, but it really makes such an incredible difference. And that is to meditate on a particular verse or prayer 
right before you go to sleep. I have to tell you when I started doing this, I started doing this when my mom was sick because this wonderful woman at church suggested it to me because during the time that my mom was in the hospital, I would go to bed and I would be so anxious. And I know so many people do this where you go to bed and then you rehash the entire day. And then you think about all the possible awful things that could happen. And you're laying there and you're trying to fall asleep and your just mind is just going bonkers on you. And you're like, stop thinking. I can't stop thinking. Stop thinking. I can't stop thinking. And you just can't fall asleep that way. So what I do now is I read whatever verse I really, really want to hold on to at night. Um, and there's some science behind this. So I'm going to share the science as well. I pray. Okay, so I pray, I thank God for all the things that, you know, he did in that day. Um, I just, you know, I, I submit my prayer requests and, you know, really, um, I really spend a lot of time thanking the Lord in the evening. Because look, if you got to the evening and you ate and you have a place to lay your head, then you have so much to be grateful for. I thank him for taking care of my family. And then I think about that verse again and I just either repeat it to myself over and over again if I know it well enough, or I literally just repeat the name of the Lord, Jesus, 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 and I fall asleep like that. And I have to tell you that for any of my fellow overthinkers, anxious people, which I definitely used to be, um, this works magic. It is just absolutely wonderful. So. Science and research has shown that the last thing that you think about before bed is what your subconscious mind like just harps on all night long to the point where you may dream about it. You'll wake up in the morning and you're still thinking about it. So how awful would it be if you go to bed thinking about all the terrible things that might happen or all the terrible things that did happen and then that's what your subconscious mind is thinking about all night long. I'd rather meditate on God's word and his goodness and his name and go to sleep thinking about that because you literally will go to sleep with a smile on your face. Now, I was um, reading in Proverbs over the course of the week and I um, I want to share Proverbs uh, 3.24 with you, but I'm actually going to start in verse 21 because I never like to read a verse by itself. I always like to read it in context. So I'm going to start at Proverbs 3.21 and oh no, what is my, my computer is doing something funny. Can you guys still hear me before I start reading? Can you guys just give me like a thumbs up and let me know um, that you can hear me because my computer started doing something weird. And Facebook Live has actually changed its interface. So I have something totally new in front of me. Uh, so, or just let me know that you can still hear me um, but I, I'm just going to keep reading and hope that this is still working. I got to love it when Facebook changes stuff on me. Okay. So if you have your Bible, um, I'm going to start reading in, um, uh, verse 21, Proverbs 321, my son, and I'm reading from the NIV, my son, do not let wisdom and understanding out of your sight, preserve sound judgment and discretion. They will be life for you an ornament to grace your neck. Then you will go on your way in safety and your foot will not stumble. I just love knowing that I will go in safety. Now, here is verse 24. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. And I'm going to go on to verse 25. Have no fear of sudden disaster or of the ruin that overtakes the wicked. For the Lord will be at your side and will keep your foot from being snared. So, okay, let me, there's just so much right there. Um, and I want to go back to verse 24. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. How many of us have gone to bed afraid this week? Okay, so many of us, including myself. And I have had to remind myself with scripture, with God's word and through prayer that I have nothing to fear. He did not give me a spirit of fear. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Do you know how your sleep will be sweet? When you put everything, everything, all of your faith 
in God alone and not what man says and not what the news says and not what media says, but just what the Lord says and what he promises. And actually, if we go back in Proverbs three, I don't want to go um, too far off because I want to finish going through these scriptures. If you go to Proverbs three, verses five through six, a verse we know so well, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways, acknowledge him in all your ways, submit to him, other texts say, and he will make your path straight. So we're still in that same proverb, which is Proverbs three. Okay, so let's keep going there. When uh, Verse 25, have no fear of sudden disaster. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Like, do we not need those words right now? Have no fear of sudden disaster or of the ruin that overtakes the wicked. I mean, when I read these words, these are such, such incredible words for us right now. Sudden disaster. Okay. Have no fear of sudden disaster. For the Lord will be at your side and will keep your foot from being snared. Now, the word snared, and correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure it means trapped, right? So, he, you know, he's saying, you know, for the Lord will be at, uh, you know, I will be by your side and will keep your foot from being snared. So keep you from being trapped. But you know what else can trap you? Your thoughts. You also, Satan getting into your brain, right? And those are the thoughts that you have at night that you can't fall asleep. But these words, these words are a reminder for the Lord will be at your side and will keep your foot from being snared, okay? Also, do not let your thoughts get trapped and taken over, okay, by what Satan would have you believe. But if you meditate on these words and Turn off the screens an hour before and open your Bible and find the verse that really brings you peace during that time. What is the proverb that says, um, find peace and hold on to it? Oh, I should have written that down. Um, it's in my study Bible that's downstairs. But instead of, you know, this is also another reason why we want to turn off our phones, the computer, the news an hour beforehand. Sure, the blue light is affecting our melatonin levels, but what are we putting inside our brain and then laying our head on a pillow and going to sleep? And then that's what our brain is meditating on. You know, so many people right now are looking at, you know, the number of people that are being hospitalized each day. And, um, you know, you may be watching this much later than what we're going through at the time. But, you know, that's not what I want to meditate on at night. I want to meditate on the promises of the Lord and what he tells me is true and that I'm a child of God and that I'm protected and let his will be done. That's a very hard thing to say. Um, sometimes I say, let your will be done. And I'm like scared, right? Like, oh, let your will be done, Lord, you know, um, because we don't know what that will mean. But what we do know is that he will see us through right? Even if we don't know what his will is. So obviously this is why number four was my favorite because I have found that I could do all the things that the doctors and the professionals and the supplements and the take this and the take that. But if you're going to bed and your mind is just racing, it doesn't matter how many cups of magnesium you drank. It doesn't matter what time you turn the TV off. If you are not truly putting all of your stress and anxiety, you know, leaving it at the foot of the cross at night. I have physically, I know I've shared this before, where I have literally taken my hands and done this. Jesus, I'm handing this to you. I may take it back in the morning. I hope I don't. But for now, I'm going to bed with your peace in my heart and I'm leaving this to you because there's nothing I can do about it all night long. But I know you can do something about it. And I'm just going to hand it over to you and then just, you know, when I wake up, you'll let me know what my next steps are. All right, so I'm just gonna take just a few, few questions. Let me scroll through the comments. Um, remember that you can always, um, if you're watching the replay, you can always submit your question and we always go back to them and look at them. So um, let me see here. Uh, if I have any questions, um, well, Stacey says, I started to keep a schedule when I started this program. And you're right. My body automatically now tells me it's time for bed. Isn't that so, so amazing? Um, so, okay. Gina asked such a great question. What are some things 
Uh, others are doing an hour before bed. We watch TV as a family before bed. So we read a book together. So my kids, um, I just uh, ordered them a new series of books. So we're going to start a new series. But the series we're reading now are particularly for boys. They're written by Priscilla Shire. But if you can find like a really good book you all enjoy, that's a great, great thing to do together. Um, so <laughs> Lena, yeah, cause I've been coloring on my phone in bed watching TV. Yeah, no, my husband will do that. And that's like a double whammy, right? So you definitely don't want to do that. Sonia has a good suggestion. She says you can find natural calm at Walmart instead. Oh, that is great. And I bet you it's at a good price there too. Uh, Krista says it's helped with her leg cramps. Yep. I totally, totally agree. Um, Denise says I take magnesium supplements in the morning. Do you recommend taking these in the evening rather than in the morning? Denise, I do, unless there is a reason why your doctor has told you otherwise, I would say, um, I would take them in the evening because they help your body to relax. So, you know, you might feel better during the day if you took it in the evening and slept well, and now you're still absorbing the magnesium, but you're feeling better throughout the day, okay? Um, Lena says, it messes with my acid reflux if it is fizzy. This might be different, Lena. I would encourage you to try it and you can always return it if it doesn't work for you, okay? Um, Krista says, the raspberry lemon is yummy. That's good. So now we know. Uh, okay, so I am definitely going to um, keep, uh, let me see here. Wait, Denise says, I love this passage. One of my favorites. My husband works graveyard shifts on a rotational three-month schedule. Now that the kids are grown and married, I have gotten older. I fear at night being by myself, which I know is Satan messing with me. Yeah, um, which I uh, something that I have been really praying about. So Denise, that is tough. Um you know, the, when my husband travels, uh, what I do is, um, so we have two dogs. I don't know if you have dogs, but actually I set the dogs up with like a really, really great like sleeping setup outside. Now, um, obviously if it's super cold out, I'm not going to have them sleep outside, but they, they love it. And if obviously we're all home, they sleep inside, um, even though they're outside dogs. And that makes me feel better because I know that they're going to bark if anybody was to come to the house. So I, I, when I was thinking like, what could I do to make myself be feel better when Stuart's away and not be fearful all night? And that really worked. For me. So, you know, maybe that, that will work for you. So Joanne, um, calm is magnesium citrate. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It's magnesium citrate. Um, magnesium glycinate also works really well. Those are the only two that I recommend. So citrate and glycinate. Um, Connie, your words always make me feel better. I am so glad, Connie. I am so, so glad. Okay, so hopefully these four tips helped you. If you have any other tips that are helpful, please share them. Um, I always, always love to hear your recommendations or anything that you might have to share. And if you have suggestions for other videos that you would like for me to film, I'm always open to those. Remember, these videos are designed for you and to help you on your health journey um, and to make you feel better any way that, that I can help to do that, okay? You have a wonderful, blessed day, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click here to watch more videos that will help you live a peaceful and healthy life. You may also want to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so be sure to turn on the notification bell so you're notified when I post something new. If you want to learn more about how to live the best, healthiest, and most fulfilling life available to you, go to IsabelDPrice.com today. I'll see you soon.